In today's show, Bitcoin decides fate of $60,000 as weekly close keeps the Bitcoin traders on their toes. In today's show, I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis from crypto analyst Rec Capital, as well as Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin stock to flow model. And as Mikhail Bende Pop shares here, I personally think $250,000 to $300,000 as a top for Bitcoin. And analyst Tech Dev shares this chart, which suggests $228,000 to 250,000 by the end of January. Meanwhile, Jack Dorsey tweets, hyperinflation is going to change everything. It's happening. And Max Kaiser responded, that's what the Bitcoin price has been signaling for several years now, as we've been reporting. He ain't telling no lies. Also in today's show, PayPal logs its largest Bitcoin volume since May's Bitcoin price crash. I'll be breaking down this retail boom and how it's likely to impact the Bitcoin market. Also in today's show, I'll be sharing this Bitcoin chart, which is like a cheat code for calling the top cryptocurrencies trajectory, says crypto analyst Justin Bennett. That's right. We're talking about this 2017 fractal chart, which suggests 80,000 plus in early November, 65,000 retests in mid-November, and then $100,000 plus in December. Also in today's show, journalist and YouTuber Tim Pool believes that one Bitcoin will eventually be equivalent to $1 million USD. That's right. As he shares in this tweet, it's the rise of a new financial technology, and I believe one Bitcoin will eventually be equivalent to $1 million. And as Corey Swan points out, $1 million per BTC is only 16x from here. We just did 16x since last year. And as Dennis Porter shares, if Bitcoin can go from $1 to 67000 it can just as easily go from 67000 to $5 million per BTC. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, many of the alts are currently correcting and in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 50,000 subscribers. If you like earning money in cryptocurrency, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, including weekends just like this. Now let's talk about some crypto IRAs. Today's show is brought to you by iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over $2 billion in transactions. With iTrust, not only can you buy, sell, and trade crypto tax-free, but also precious metals as well, such as physical gold and silver, so you can trade 24-7 and there are no hidden fees and everything is very transparent. And here you can see the cryptocurrencies you can currently trade which include Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink, Polkadot, as well as other top cryptos. And a reminder, you can also trade physical gold and silver via digital ownership. iTrust Capital utilizes vault chain investment grade gold and silver held physically at the Royal Canadian Mint with ownership managed via a secure blockchain distributed ledger. And the thing that I really like is the fact they have institutional custody by Coinbase, the world's leading institutional cold storage provider, backed by a $320 million insurance policy. So you can have peace of mind knowing your digital assets are safe and secure. To take advantage of this, go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below. And as a bonus, you'll receive your first month absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Click the link right down below and let's start stacking them stats tax-free. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV. How's it going, crypto fam? Holla at your boy in the live chat. Bitcoin is lining up a crucial weekly support test today on October 23rd after impulsive sellers move larger amounts of BTC to major exchange Binance. Right here, you're looking at the Bitcoin one-hour candle chart. Now, Bitcoin is keeping traders nervous into Saturday. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView shows deciding on the fate of $60,000 support. That level had proven the first major area of buyer interest overnight after the old all-time highs of 64,900 failed to prop up the market. Meanwhile, analysts remain bullish on the longer time frames. The come down is creating an interesting close on the current weekly candle as crypto analyst right capital shares here. Last week, Bitcoin weekly closed above a historical major resistance area, which you can see here in the red. And this week, Bitcoin may be dipping towards that same area, but this time to turn it into a support. Weekly retest may soon be in progress. And Mikhail Vende Pop shares was watching that $64,000 zone as a crucial level to break and the market has failed. So a corrective move is taking place. Overall, looking at 56 to 59,000 as a good spot to buy Bitcoin. And he goes on to share, I personally think 250 to $300,000 as a top for the king of all crypto. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this crypto analyst. And elsewhere, a popular theory revolves around a structured flushing out of over leveraged traders. These having pushed up the funding race to classic unsustainable levels during the recent run-up to new all-time highs. As BitBit shares here on crypto Twitter, they're going to clean up the over-leverage before heading back up, I guess, 
brace for impact, and he continues, roughly $1.25 trillion were injected into the market in a span of exactly three months ahead of the ETF approval. Now you tell me that some big pockets didn't have this info way before, you can guess, $1.25 trillion. Now let's check out the latest from Plan B, creator of the Bitcoin stock to flow model. He tweeted this morning, 2013 vibes, 200 week moving average up, which is here in the black, realized cap also up, which is in the gray, in all time high mode, and the red equals the distance to all time highs. And as crypto analyst tech dev shares here, final Bitcoin impulse has always been five degrees steeper than the run up to the mid cycle peak, holding true so far. If it continues in the 228, the $250,000 window is hit, which is the two most historically reliable FIB based targets, then it would happen by the end of January. And it'll be interesting to watch as he shares here in this chart. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this crypto analyst. And before I break down next story of the day, PayPal logs its largest Bitcoin volume since May's Bitcoin price crash as well as I share with you this Bitcoin chart which is like a cheat code for calling the top cryptocurrencies trajectory as well as journalist and youtuber Tim Pool believes that one Bitcoin will eventually be equivalent to one million dollars USD but first let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market as you can see Bitcoin Ether and many of the alts are currently correcting and in the red with Bitcoin down three percent for the day trading just above sixty one thousand six hundred dollars we have Ether down two point two percent trading just above four thousand dollars while Solana is down almost three percent trading at about 202 dollars polka dot down three percent trading at 44 bucks and binance coin down 2.3 percent trading at 481 dollars but all right now let's break down our next story of the day and let's discuss this retail boom bitcoin trading volumes on global payment service provider paypal reached 145.6 million dollars on october 20th just as the benchmark crypto rallied towards its record high near 67 thousand dollars now the latest spike in volumes came out to be the highest since the may 19th bitcoin price crash crash of around 43,500 to as low as $30,000 and on the day some 304 million dollars where the BTC changed hands, almost double the volumes logged on October 20th, as you can see in this chart brought to you by buybt.com. Now, nonetheless, in both instances, it was unclear if the volumes were due to the increase in purchasing during the Bitcoin price rally or the sell-offs near the newly achieved record highs. But whatever may be the reason, the PayPal readings reflected a rise in retail activity on October 20th, which further attested by the spike of internet queries for the keyword Bitcoin, as you can see right here in this chart. Now, notably, PayPal allows users to start investing into Bitcoin by putting in as little as one US dollar. And as a result, the payment service firm has emerged as a viable platform for retail investors, a move seen by the industry as a cue for the wider crypto adoption. Interestingly, since PayPal's push into the crypto sector, the sum count of unique addresses holding at least one dollar worth of BTC has surged from 26.83 million on November 20th of 2020 to 33.89 million at press time. And meanwhile, on October 20th, the count was 34.12 million, which was an all-time high. And quoting Alex Vasilev, the co-founder and chief customer officer of crypto payment service, Mercurio, he wrote, the increased buying pressure from PayPal users and its corresponding impact on the price of Bitcoin may stir a notable upshoot this fourth quarter as the year runs to an end. And he also shares, the company has millions of customers and a massive buy-up of Bitcoin can effectively push Bitcoin to new highs. With the all-time high at 67,000, we may see a worst case price hit of 80,000 by year's end and best case scenario of $100,000. Now, PayPal has around 392 million active users worldwide, but its crypto services are only available currently in the United States and the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, the company is also eyeing an entry into the decentralized finance sector, signaling expansion outside the Bitcoin sector. So there you have it. And before I break down next story of the day, and I share this Bitcoin chart, which is like a cheat code for calling Bitcoin's trajectory, as well as journalist and YouTuber Tim Pool believes that one Bitcoin will eventually be equivalent to $1 million. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap, sitting just above 2.5 trillion with 95 billion in volume in the past 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance on the decline at 45.4%, with the Ether dominance at 18.7%. And checking out the top gainers within the top one, we have Raven Coin leading the pack, up 10%, trading at 12.4 cents. Phantom up 9.5%, trading at $2.52. And Harmony up 7.5%, trading at 26 cents. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on during this bull run? Let me know in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows we're currently rated a 74 in greed. Yesterday was a 75, last week a 78, and last month a 27 in fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and 
fear index. Extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That could be a great buying opportunity, aka BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down this cheat sheet. Shall we? A closely followed strategist is eyeing the price charts from the 2017 Bitcoin bull run to see where the world's leading crypto is likely heading next. Justin Bennett tells his 82,000 Twitter followers that comparing Bitcoin's previous peaks and valleys is like having a cheat code. He foresees a new all-time high of $80,000 just around the corner, followed by a leap past 100,000, quoting him right here on Crypto Twitter. The 2017 fractal accounts for this week's pullback. Each move this cycle has been a little less aggressive than in 20. 2017, it was a 13% pullback then, probably an 8 to 10% pullback now, or 60,000 BTC, then 80,000 plus in early November, 65,000 retests in mid November, and $100,000 plus in December. As he shows here in the chart, you can see we are here, and then it shows the rounded retest of 65,000 as new support to take us to new all-time highs. Then finally, the analyst plots out a price roadmap where the Bitcoin price surges well past $100,000 and into the $200,000 plus range by early January of next year. Checking out this tweet from X Caesar, repositioned this fractal on Bitcoin, $60,000 bottom before running it up to $80,000 by the 1st of November. This fractal puts us on target for $450,000 by late December. And that's when Justin Bennett responded, makes my $207,000 to $270,000 peak that I discussed in yesterday's video seem a lot more realistic as he shares here in this chart. I think something like this is much more likely and it shows us peak in between two hundred and seven and two hundred and seventy thousand dollars per BTC. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this crypto analyst. And before I break down our final story of the day, journalist and YouTuber Tim Pool believes that one Bitcoin will eventually be equivalent to one million dollars. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 950 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including my daily letter, which goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, have a blog I update daily, which can be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications and help me get to 50,000 subs. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify to Apple's iTunes and Google Play. You can also follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So be sure to follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. The American journalist, YouTuber, podcast host, and political commentator, Tim Pool has talked about Bitcoin on numerous occasions, and even more so these days as the crypto asset crosses all time high price. After the ProShares ETF launched on the New York Stock Exchange, Poole asked his 900,000 Twitter followers if they thought Bitcoin would hit $200,000, as you can see right here on crypto Twitter. Now, Poole is also a fan of the leading crypto asset, as it's no surprise. He mentioned it on several occasions. Last year in October, Poole discussed Bitcoin alongside the Great Reset subject as well, as Bitcoin smashed through its previous all-time high, captured in April. And on October 20th, Poole said he believes a single Bitcoin could be worth a million dollars. That's right. Quoting him right here on crypto Twitter, people still ish on Bitcoin and I feel bad for them. A local guy out here told me he just became a millionaire off of his investment, bought in several years ago and forgot about it. It's the rise of a new financial technology. And I believe one Bitcoin will eventually be equivalent to $1 million USD. Let me know if you agree or disagree with Tim Pool. I feel it's inevitable. I predict a $1 million Bitcoin price by the year 2025. On September 21st, Pool show featured author Pat Palombo and the YouTuber discuss cryptos at great length. The title of the video is called Cryptocurrency is a Positive Force as the Establishment Loses Control, but they'll try to control it. And in the video, Poole talks about how Max Kaiser, shout out to Max and Stacy, try to convince him to buy Bitcoin in the early days, but at the time he passed. Poole also reveals some of the crypto assets in his portfolio, which includes Dogecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ether, and Cardano. And prior to that video, Poole discussed the subject in another Timecast IRL video. Video dub, Tim gets animated about Bitcoin and insists it's good for many things and allows greater freedom. That's right. And during the discussion with the co-publisher of Human Events, Will Chamberlain, Poole stressed that Bitcoin is used to store value outside of the Fed. In 2018, Poole said that crypto can save free speech, and he argued that digital assets can circumvent third parties that partake in financial censorship. And he's right. And as Corey Swan shares here, $1 million per Bitcoin is only 16x from here. We just did 16x 
since last year. That's right. So we're not that far fetched from a $1 million Bitcoin price. And as Dennis Porter shares here, if Bitcoin can go from $1 to $67,000, it can just as easily go from $67,000 to $5 million per BTC. Let's freaking go. And now for a quick recap, what I cover with you here in today's show, Bitcoin decides fate of $60,000 as weekly close keeps Bitcoin traders on their toes. Also in today's show, we discuss PayPal logging its largest Bitcoin volume since May's Bitcoin price crash. Also in today's show, I shared with you this Bitcoin chart, which is like a cheat code for calling Bitcoin's top trajectory. Also in today's show, we discussed journalist and YouTuber Tim Poole believes that one Bitcoin will eventually be equivalent to $1 million. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Super Geek Toys wrote, another bang of video, my main man JV. Sorry I have missed the last two days, but I was busy cranking out the content as well. I do not know how you do a daily episode, my man. Those Walmart ATMs sound sus at best. Coinstar, the next big crypto. My response, cheers, bro, and keep pumping out that crypto content, fam. Let's freaking go. And our next featured comment comes from Ronnie Sean, who wrote, nice video, but people will be kicking themselves in a few weeks if they miss the opportunity to buy and invest in Bitcoin. 100% agreed, BTFD, and keep stacking them sats. One love. And our third and final featured comment comes from Nico K, who wrote, JV and fam, this is a healthy correction, so don't worry about anything. I haven't been around to see the show live in the last few days due to not waking up in time. Just hodl on and BTFD. And my response, you got it, fam, BTFD and hodl equals winning. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. But that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. That's right. Bitcoin is the glitch in the matrix. And if you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to help me get to 50,000 subs. And real quick before I go, I want to give a quick shout out to iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over $2 billion in transactions. If you're looking to buy, trade, or sell crypto tax free, look no further than iTrust. Not only can you trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, Chainlink, as well as the top cryptos, you can also trade physical gold and silver. And yes, they are backed by Coinbase Custody, which has a $320 million insurance policy. So you can have peace of mind knowing your crypto assets are safe and secure. To take advantage of this, Use my referral link in the description right down below and you'll get your first months free. Let's get this crypto tax free and I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.